All right, let's see here. Um, Grandma D, if you're able to, would you get us started? They dot sorry. Um, if not, um, Grandma D, uh, Miss Velma, would you be able to open our open our session up? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I had stuff in my head. The dog side. So I put oh. on. Oh. No, they he's uh the dog on. And oh, the dog in a. Hey dog, hey dog, 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 I'm fake it, hey on dog, dog, he get home. Got to get my, get my hand on the town boy, dog, dog, he get home now. How on the, on the, how on the, on the, get high, they talk. I'm town play the, they on the, Hand or dog, he go, go to get them on hand or they get on field. I tell I'm over dog, they get home, dog, but Tom, but Tom, me dog, he hold the arm, he lay dog, get the dog, dog, I get. Then he the time, dog, hold the dog, you get eight to the dog, get three and hard to the dog, get up. So I am a dog, I am a little a whole day and a half over her. A whole. A All right, awesome. Uh, let's see. They own a bot son. We have uh, Kathy, Ellison, Grandma D, Dane, Miss Belma, Courtney, Cricket. And Aunt Carolyn. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, get started with uh, if anyone has any questions or any updates they'd like to share. Um, I'll go ahead and do one for uh, board. Um, so uh, I haven't put out a date on our on our board meeting for this month yet. Um, so. Um, let's see if I can find out next week. We would have had it this week, but we had one of our board members out of state right now. So uh couldn't have it for this week. Um, but what we're going to do is to get a little bit more organized on this. And while we're waiting on a while we're kind of waiting on a um uh a director hire is just trying to get everything organized with everybody's uh items and, and everything that they turned in. Um, I think the board, we're still going to meet together and we'll talk about that. We're actually going to have an online meeting. So the board that's here, our, our meeting is not going to be in person this time. It's going to be online because we're going to go ahead and have a in-person one for next month. Uh, because we did have an idea for an earlier December credentialing, but it's not going to work out because uh, the weekend that we did have planned, um, I'm actually not going to be here. I'll, I'll be out of state on a conference. So um, it's not going to work out for that time. So uh, we are going to decide on a January meeting, uh, whether we decide to, whether we meet next week or the week after, we'll, we'll decide on that date. Um, so what, what's going to happen is uh, I think I originally was going to schedule to have the Kiowa, some representatives from the Kiowa uh, language program to meet with them but I think the hours I think it's going to be easier to do that during the daytime so that way we can exchange um, all the stuff from when we had the grant plus uh, everything up to this point and get all the paperwork together for that so that we know where everybody's at um, and that way there'll be a little bit more uh, a little bit more cohesion between um, the board and and the 
and the uh, Kaiba language program. So we know where everything is. Uh, it's a little bit spread out right now. So um, that's what we're going to kind of get organized for this month and then next month and next month our board. What we're going to try to do is just find a good day for our board to get together so we can listen to this stuff because it's going to be easier for us to Hey, uh, than... uh, G uh, GD, can you turn your sound off so we no. can hear you? No. no. Thanks. Go ahead. Oh, so um, what our board's going to have to do, it's a little bit harder with the Kiowa 2 stuff because there's a lot more going on. So I think in that in-person board meeting, I think we're going to do that focusing on that instead of doing too many things at once. So um, I'll meet with uh, 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 a few from the Kiowa language program, and I talked a little bit about it to them last week um, about how we can organize that. But for the board itself to get everything for Kiowa 2 and try to get everybody's stuff back in, um, I still got all the... I still got all the audios from the first round and some people on the first round actually did what is now the level two. So you could probably end up, uh, those who actually did the stuff that is now considered level two, uh, there's quite a few people, or there's probably about three or four people that are, are that can probably bypass the level two for the, for the, um, for the part that has to do with the interview. Um, but the other stuff, it's just figuring out how to grade that properly and um, that's taking a little bit of time because they are a little bit longer uh, pieces to listen to. So when we get together as a board, I think that's what we'll dedicate a lot of time to is actually getting to listen to a lot of those because a lot of technology involved with that. So it's better just to kind of have it in person for us. So that's kind of for the board itself. So that'll be more in the, that'll be in our December time. So the board will be doing that in December and then uh, we're also, uh, this November on our next meeting, we'll decide uh, when in January-ish that we're going to have a, um, that we can have a, a credentialing, uh, a credentialing session for everybody to come to. Um, I think on top of that, too, is, um, is, Now, now I completely forgot what that was. I probably wasn't as important as all of the rest of that was. So, um, but anyway, does anybody have any questions on anything? I was talking about two different things about meeting about us um, getting our materials together for the Kiowa language program and the and the Kiowa credentialing board, and then the Kiowa credentialing board over here um, uh, getting together. Oh, I know what it was. It's bringing on other people to the Kiowa credentialing sessions and meetings because uh, we're probably going to need some ideas when we do get together. So um, we're going to talk about that on the next meeting. So that's just for everybody who's on the credentialing board is uh, talking about, I guess you can't, we can't really call them alternates because we're not the ones that get to pick them. But, you know, anybody who's kind of potential that could be on the board in the in the case that somebody won't be able to fulfill their duties at some point or, or whether it's health reasons or, um, you know, or um, work or, you know, anything else. So um, I think that's going to be an important part to this is to uh, be prepared for um, any kind of board changes, whether there's a resignation or anything like that. Uh, we'll need to know that pretty soon so it doesn't take too much time to get the right uh, board members. So um, with that being said, I have those couple different things. So if anybody has any questions, if not, then we'll uh, now turn it over to whoever. That was awesome. Like, so did y'all meet today? Oh, no, we haven't met yet. Uh, okay. We have one of our board members is, is uh, out of out of state. Okay. So I, th I like that idea that y'all are going to be sitting there listening to what we've turned in as a group. I think that's really important. I think the elders um, are really wanting to hear where, how we sound, how, you know, how all of us are sounding in a certain area um as a as a team together as a board so that's really good that y'all are going to do that 
Um, yeah. And for all the board, we'll talk about that in the next meeting. We're not going to do that in the next meeting uh, for the board. We're going to do that in December. So uh, we'll talk about that and where that's going to be set up. So it'll, it'll still be in person for all the board members there. Um, uh, so it, I just, we'll just find the place, but we're just moving that to next month. And that's what we're going to focus on instead is actually getting those, uh, um, going over those recordings. So, all right, Omaha. Oh, uh -huh, Dane. Um, just to uh, clarify, um, so you said um, instead of having an in-person like credentialing interview session uh, in December, instead you're going to have an in-person uh, credentialing board members meeting. Is that right? Yeah. So it'll be a board members meeting for the board members. Um so that's what we're going to do in December. So the actual credentialing um, session for everybody else, we're going to try to move that one to January. That one will probably have a an online option because of travel during that time. You don't we don't know what the weather is going to be like and where it's going to be like elsewhere. So it's uh, we'll try to get that online option for it as well. Oh, awesome. Um, let's see, does anyone have any other questions for Dane about anything he just shared? Oh. Honda and Sido. Oh, one day. Yeah, Dane. Um, so Will we have to wait until January? You know, we have the other parts to do for the credentialing, or is there any way we can work some dates? Um, yeah, <laughs> um, outside of the, outside of the, um, outside of the uh, interview, um, there's still those other parts that you can work on. So it just depends on what you've done so far. So whether it was reading the story listening and shadowing the story or whether it was the um for the pronunciation set uh whether it's doing the the grammar part where you're just going from Kiowa to English or English to Kiowa which some people have actually already done even in the first weeks of like a uh, year and a half ago some people actually actually already did that portion so that's what we'll look at too if you already did that portion uh, for the grammar portion or for the grammar area if you haven't done that let me know because we can do that outside of the outside of the interview session the interview session is just for the interviews um, but we can do other stuff if we have time uh, and you can work with other people um, and then I'm trying to think of the fourth piece that's on there if you can remind me because now I'm just thinking off the top of my head uh, the family terms mm -hmm. So family terms from uh, English to Kiowa. So if there's any of those that you need to get done, I mean, I'm going to be here tonight. So if you uh, if you're ready to do one of those part of the three parts, mm -hmm. uh, I can help you along with those or go through one with you. Uh, I did that uh, that second interview. I've done that, and I had sent a story, so I was wondering if I need to send another. Send it. Uh, no, um, I'll contact you on that one. Um, okay. That's what we're going to be listening to in the December sessions. Is is oh, that okay. over together? Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. Kinship. We can talk about it at least tonight. Okay. All right. Yeah. It. We can do a session on that. Yeah, I think I I need to do that one too. Can't say he or she. Okay. I guess, uh, Melody, I can I can do a breakout session on with with the uh, co host and help them oh out. okay yeah that'd be awesome all right let me uh let me adjust this and i see uh guto hitali also joined us oh and there's um oh my gosh i want to mess it up Grandma Martha, but I was trying to think of your Kiowa name, but I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hey. Um, 
Oh yeah, for anyone who uh, hasn't been on for a couple weeks, uh, just something that we wanted to share is something we've been trying to do the past couple uh, sessions is uh, changing our English names on our Zoom to our Kiowa names and then addressing each other in, with our Kiowa names. So mm -hmm. that's what we've been trying to do as well, while we do our practicing during our sessions. So if you uh, would like to, if you have a Kiowa name, feel free to put that uh, in your, rename yourself in Zoom. Okay. And you just look at, like, go up to your picture with those three little dots on there. And then uh, it should take you to uh, rename down at the bottom. If you click on those three dots and you can type in your Indian name. I and uh Jane, I made that adjustment in the Zoom, so I think you should be able to do the breakout rooms. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, before we uh, split up into breakout rooms, just wanted to see if there were any other updates that anyone would like to share. Um, I wanted to know, okay, so we have, um, is it a month? We have less than a month for our outreach, our Zoom outreach. And I wanted to uh, get y'all's thoughts on the story. Um, I just want to put in a story that we've already done. So I wanted to, uh, if it's okay, share my screen and let y'all help me pick which story. Oh. So, because I'm going to, because we were doing like a, putting a same day story in there. So I want y'all to help me pick which same day story. Hey, uh, Cricket, do I think we have some on here that um might have uh not seen our little agenda thing that we're coming up with our plan for the outreach. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to share that Google Doc okay, that we me... made uh, first, just okay. in case, just to remind everyone kind of what we're our theme is and stuff. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna find it then. I don't know if I ever opened it. Okay. Um, what did you name it? NVR? Um, oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. Okay, let me see. I don't remember. I think it's under the uh, Kiowa Pro in the Kiowa Projects. Okay. Hmm. It'll be under shared with me. Hmm. Is it under the revised folder? Oh, no. It's uh, in the Kiowa language resource. I don't know. I don't know if I ever opened it. If you sent it, if you shared it with me, and I may not have opened it, so I might not have it yet. Um, Kyle. Okay. Let me, uh, so Kiowa Projects, and then and I think it's um, NVR Virtual Outreach, December 2023. Okay. And then the title of the document is NVR December 2023 Virtual Outreach. I, I, yeah, I don't have it. You, I you, shared I it with it. you, Cricket. Just now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I will have it. All right. I just opened it. Okay. Did you want to share it then? Or do you want um, me to? I can share. Okay. I think. Can y'all see that? 
Can y'all see it? Oh, no. Hmm. It says uh, December 2023 virtual outreach planning. Do y'all see that document? Oh. oh. Okay. All right. So now I'll have it. Okay. So if some of you haven't seen it, this is our for the NVR grant. For those that you have that maybe hadn't gotten on, we did get the OIE grant, which is a uh, a three-year grant, and that's for uh, $350,000, and um, it's to help pay for Anadarko and Carnegie uh, teacher for a year and also fund some new teacher candidates um, that with the uh, MOU that they will go into, like Lawton School, schools that are requesting uh, a, a, a Kiowa teacher. Um, but this one is for the NVR grant. It's like a $40,000 grant just to fund what we're already doing. And so this was the outline that we came up with when we met. And um, so we'll have practice on Wednesday, December 6th, um, same time that we meet. And then our outreach will be December 13th, and we'll do it welcomes as people get on 7 to 7.30. We'll do presentations and content from 7.30 to 8.30. And then um, by other attendees that may want to add to um, share family stories or memories, then um, that would be 8.30 to 9. So that would uh, cover our virtual uh, portion of our outreach for the NVR grant. And um, so we're looking at uh, the topic being memories, like uh, holiday memories. And um, so Han de on de ma hai ge son. And then um, we have Kiowa stories, memories, Family time, Christmas memories, a Chris, a Christmas hymn, and we'll have the an opening prayer, um, welcome and greeting. Dane, are you on? You were assigned something. Is he still on? He's in a break room. Oh, already? Darn. Okay, we need to tell him then. Um. And then uh, let's see. And then we'll we're looking at doing hymns. Okay, so talking about from the classes that are meeting. Um, Ramon, did you do you see this right here? So they were wanting to know if your class, your Carnegie class, would sing the Goaty Bow hymn. If you could record it. Have them sing it and record it, and then we'll play it. Yeah, I could probably uh, try to get them to. So. Okay. And then uh, Nelson will sing the Kiowa Christmas song. And um, then Melody's class will do uh, Joy to the World. Okay, so we'll have those. So the hymns will come first. And then this is where I wanted you guys to um, um, help help me pick uh, which same day story. So let me see if it will let, can y'all see this one? Does it, does it take you to the story? Do y'all see it? It's all blue. Ha or Hane. You do see it, okay. Um, so yeah. this one, this one's short, and 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 basically, um, uh, Jilly or I would read it, and uh, it's just you know talking about how Sande pulled us out of the cottonwood tree. So there's that one, and then um, let's see, then um, 
see. Oh, where did it go? Okay. And then, oh, this is hard. Yeah. Okay. There's, let's see what this one. Oh, no, that's that one. Then here's this one. This one is pre recorded. Um, and it's the one that Carolyn and Angelin and Charlie and I did. And, um, and I think this is the one where same day tricks the white man. So those are ones that are already done. Um, I kind of like the blue one over this one, but I just wanted y'all to help me pick. Um, or if you think there is a better story and then we can do a, a, a different same day story. But not a long one because <laughs> we got to put it all in this writing method. Cricket? Yes. What about the Anadarko class? And get them to sing a song? I don't know. I just know if she were here, she could tell you what. Okay. Let me ask her because she, she texted me and said she wouldn't be able to make it tonight. Let me ask her. Um, and also, Ramon, I thought my mother, this is Carolyn, suggested that your group would do the go to boat Christmas, first Christmas, Kiowa Christmas hymn, you know, where you meet at, at Cedar Creek. And not your class is the way I understood it. Maybe I got it wrong. Hmm. Oh, uh, the event on Saturdays? Yeah, when you meet on Saturdays with the, at Cedar Creek Church. Oh, I think, um, let me check when the first Saturday is. And um, this is, and the date of this is December the 15th? 13th. 13th. So we'd need it by the 6th. Because that's when we're going to do the run of the show. Oh, I could probably uh, make it on the 2nd. Okay. <laughs> since that'll be that first Saturday. Mm -hmm. So instead of the high school class? The church class would do it. Oh. Uh, community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more just anybody okay. who shows up community. Yeah. Okay, so community. change it to. I'll put community class. Uh, probably community hymn singing group. Okay. Is that okay? We put group in there instead of class. Oh. Okay. Okay. And then let's see. What song would we ask her for? We have Go to Bo, we have the Christmas song, and when we have Joy to the World. What would we ask her to sing so it wouldn't be a repeat? Silent Night. What would you what would you like me to ask Julia? This one she Okay, so we have three songs. Yeah, so Oh, she said she would do Silent Night. She said they're already working on it. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So let's write that in there. Uh, 
Um, okay. All right. So then um what do you think about uh oh um she's asking is it the community class or the high school class? She's doing the same thing. Just should I tell her whichever one? Or do you guys want me to ask her for just the high school? What did she say? What was the question again? She wants to know which class. Well, it's, it's, the it's class. up to her, I would say. Okay. Whichever one. Off. Record. Okay. Whatever she feels comfortable with. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So. All right. So then which story? I like I like the blue one. I kind of don't want this one. Wait, but do you guys think the other one would be okay? And then do you have another one that you think might um that you might like to hear that we could you know uh read as well? What is the blue one? What's that? Okay. What's the subject. What is it? Um, I don't think I saw what it was. Okay, hold on. Okay, where's Cricket? Oh, like pull that. Yeah, yeah that no. one. So if we did that one, and do you guys have another one that you'd like to do? Because we don't, we don't have to, but we can make another one. Um, just to have it ready. You mean do a whole new one? I don't know that people would have time with. No, I mean, I would just read it. I would just read it. I would just like type it up and then read it. Or do you just want to keep it the pulling out story? I like the pulling out story. Um, You know what? It's kind of interesting. Uh, So my daughter had to do a pick a like a folk tale to share with her yeah. class and so she chose the same day story about um how same day silences the dogs okay because they're all being really loud and uh -huh. it was really interesting like she like did a whole little thing of it and like rewrote it and um she would didn't write it in Kiowa but it was cute uh -huh. how she interpreted it Could, would she want to like make a powerpoint and re you know read it in Kiowa Oh, I'm sure she'd love to. It's Merlina, by the way, the 12 year old, the youngest one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. yeah. She, okay. So, okay. Well, I'll help um, you try to translate some of it and then I'll run it by our mentors, like I'll maybe in our okay. Sunday. Okay. So we'll do the pulling out story and then. Uh, it's same day silences the dogs. Is that how I spell her name? Uh, Merlina? Yes. Oh. Okay. okay. Um. I mean, unless someone else has another story that they'd like. Okay. Okay, so that would be good. And Julia's will have Julia's going to be leading her class, so that'll be all right. Okay, so that's good. So we'll have those two stories. Does that sound good to you guys? Oh. Okay. Because remember, we only really need an hour. So we've got four songs, two stories now. Um, KCP tape recording a Kyle Elders talking about Christmas memories. Um, yeah, there's a really uh, neat, um, I think it might have been Grandma D's dad that talks about um, Christmas and then how same days like Santa Claus, like there's some little like snippets that are really, really interesting uh, quotes. Okay. Um, and then there was another, I forget which one, but, but yeah, we're, uh, 
we're working on that. Um, I can send you what we came up with so far, Cricket, and then see if we want to like uh, because I think last we've we've done like a couple different transcriptions, and so we could do a whole new one or play parts of the ones that we already have. Okay, and are you gonna put transcriptions in there so we'll be able to yeah read like it? Okay. yeah so while we play while we hear the tape. Um, we'll have the words on the screen so that they can see it well. Oh, okay, listening. that's awesome. Okay, all right, that sounds really good. How long is that? I think the there's two of them so far. Um, and I think they're each like it's about one's about two minutes and the other's maybe a minute and a half. So, like not too long, like five minutes total maybe, unless okay. people have questions about them. Yeah, but then people might, whenever uh, uh, Ms. Hergar talks about it, that would be another, you know, take up some more time. Um, so we'd have... What, so am that, gonna, uh, what am I going to talk about? Well, <laughs> it's going to be in Kiowa, right? So they might want to hear what it means in English after we hear it in Kiowa. Hear what in Kiowa? The... Uh, the recording of, uh, I think we have some recording of your dad and uh, Isabel Tuhatchet um, speaking about uh, Christmas time. And remember, we worked on some transcriptions a few years ago that we used in some of the old outreaches. And so I was thinking we could um, play a little bit of those. But um, we can go over it in uh, our Sunday session. I could show you what which ones. I can play you the ones that I'm thinking of. And then... You can let me know if that sounds good or if you're comfortable talking, you know, just giving a brief translation. Oh. All right. <laughs> you're going to talk about the whole thing, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so if we look at maybe, um, you know, five minutes for those songs, so 5, 10, 15, 20, that's 20, 20 minutes on hymns. They might be a little bit shorter um, and the stories um, that would be 30 minutes. So that first part is 30 minutes. And then you have that, that might be um, 10 minutes. So we have 40 minutes and then we have uh, the Christmas word and vocabulary and game. So we're at, at about 40 minutes when we get to right here. Oh, um, how's the game coming along? I it's have hard. most of the words. I just need to put them in there. And I think for, I think we'll just do a, like a scavenger hunt, like we've done before. Um, put the image of the, or put the word of it. And then if they like review, try to review them first, I guess. So I figure, I think. I'm just her if she needs help. <laughs> but I, I think a scavenger hut is probably easiest given the, I guess, range of audience it is. They have fun with those. They really like those. When so I think. Like yeah, I think all the words. I wanted to do Pictionary, but we might would we would that I think it would be fun to do, but we would probably have to have like one of us do that. <laughs> hey, uh, Courtney, you should uh, try Pictionary for the in-person outreach for the kids in the summer. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that we'll put that. We'll save that one. Yeah, um, that's good. Yeah. So the would words... you use these these ones right here? The toys, apples, oranges, candy nuts. Would that be what you'd have them go get for the scavenger hunt? Yeah, I have on pretty much the same ones as those. Um I'm looking here. I put doll book candy baby. Oh yeah, doll. Doll's a good one. Yeah. Uh Orange, apple, candy, 
Oh, I said candy twice. Uh, nuts is what I need to get on there. Um, so would so we want, okay. So they'd be different. Um, snow, I was looking up. I, um, we so wouldn't be able to really Courtney, get a scavenger hunt for snow. <laughs> <laughs> Hyundai and Scythe, uh, Courtney. Huh, Hyundai. Or, uh, B. Um, B, so you can see those words, the words that say Christmas word or vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Are those the same words that you're going to use for the scavenger hunt game? Or is there going to be different words? I know I was thinking about that. Um, I think we'll just we'll try to use the ones that they can the ones that could be used in a scavenger hunt. So do but we need I to think do it the would scavenger be... hunt first? I'm sorry. Yeah, and I think well, I mean, just thinking about it, like Christmas tree, I think it is, I think we do want to like I was trying to think about it. Um having those items somehow on a around a Christmas tree or something like that. So we could at least teach them how to uh, talk to them about what we call the Christmas tree, cedar tree, toy tree. So we can still have that vocabulary in there, but actually what they're going to find is going to be, because I was trying to do, trying to make it um, work together. Cricket, are you typing or is Courtney typing? I am. Oh, Brad, that's a good one. So do we need to switch the scavenger hunt to be first? So that way, uh, it, when we repeat for the Christmas vocabulary, uh, then, you know, because these are some of the repeats. Do you want to do it that way? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll put the words in there once I sh I'm pretty much so fruit and cookie those would kind of be uh, the same right a son Uh, well, all of, yes, more specifically, all about for apple, tont, olamba, for orange. Um, Hot so on a thong yeah, nets. Would that be a son two? What did you come up with? Uh, uh a son. Whenever I was looking them up and like kind of looking at some of our materials in the Google Drive and then the uh, glossary a son had it under there for like snacks and it listed nuts under snacks Where's that but it specific also specific one um like yeah. i think hyundai saitha dobby huh hyundai um did you look on facebook no <laughs> Because I think Pone. I remember seeing on Facebook on the Kiowa Language Department Facebook page uh -huh. from either 2022 or 2021, there's like um, um a bunch of little pictures and it shows like a treat sack and then it yeah. has like um cards. I think it might have been like a matching game or something that you could print out, but they're really cute, like color pictures. And I think it has a lot of the same words already, like it was for something they did at maybe with the Head Start. But anyway, they posted it. And I, the way I found it, I think I just searched like Christmas in um, the the Facebook page for the Kaiba Language Department. And then it's, I think, December 2022 or 2021. I don't remember. I, I looked to see if I downloaded it, but I didn't. So uh, I think okay. you have to download each file because it's a picture. So you have to download each one separately. But um, that might be, that might save you some 
Ah, I hope. Oh, look, I'm kind of scrolling. But, I, yeah, let's see. I have it. I see. And I can't read my writing. Grits. I have grits. <laughs> Here, I'll put these in grits. the chat so you can fill it in, okay? Um, with those other two. Mm. I know we did that one time. We talk, we talk. I have Sane Aga for blackberries. I have A they go for grapes. I have Po I can't read my writing. Po A Ga for strawberries. I have A La Ga for plums or apples. I have A Soy He Ba for watermelon. I have eight orange. A Ola Ba for orange. I have P dot got for cantaloupe. And then Cricket. what is this? Yes. Uh do you mind if I share my screen really quick? I think I found it. Okay. But I was I wanted to just show Courtney really quick. Um so I think I found here grapes. Is... I found so, next. Zane ought uh, they so I went to the um Kiowa language department and then I just clicked on photos mm -hmm. and then I scroll down and so mm -hmm. you know there's all the pictures that they have and right here it was um like Hyundai Geda and then I guess uh Gome that's one and then it has like these little uh, pictures those are cute yeah, I thought it was, I was like, hey, this is kind of cool. <laughs> we, um, oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. then I thought I saw one of a treat sack too, but it's, see here, like they're going chronologically. So there was Valentine's Day and then colors and St. Patrick's Day. Oh, here, there's this. Um, I thought I saw another one. Well, anyway, I don't know. Maybe there's something there that would be useful. Okay. I see how you, um, looking through the, I see the, okay. Let uh, me look. I'll keep on that one. But I put some other ones in the chat, uh, Cricket, for you to add into that document. Okay. I found uh, nuts. It's the oh, okay. same all day let me write it okay in the chat why do i have this one? okay z e m a u t d i don't have that down but e ask everybody and then, then this is Pecan Creek. So then they think that this is a word for pecan was Angu. Let me write it down. A-U-N-G. The other one was like Nora. just nuts. I have nuts written by it. Anyway, I knew okay. I had it somewhere. Okay. I'll, I'll get the spelling right on that. Er. Where should it at? Okay. Think ah they. Does is that sound right to you guys, to the elders? That was one of our classes that we had a long time ago in Norman.
And then I have a hyoi for choke cherry. Anyway, but those two. What was the other one? Oh. Do you want to put pen or pencil? No, that's okay. All right. Dolores, can you pronounce that pecan? Well, all I know is by Elk Creek, they call Oh, Goop, oh. What? Oh, Goop, oh, is, uh, is a pecan creek. It's why people call it. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but Kiwas, that's what they're referring to, the Rand Hobart area. Oh, Goop, oh, is, oh, Goop, is uh, pecan creek. So I don't know how you say pecan by itself. I just I'm just saying the whole word that I know all goop all out creek as they call as it's, it's known no. but I was it's known as all goop all to Kiowas. It's out creek today. Just Yeah, Elk that's pecan creek. Oh uh, yeah, just just you can the oh, say on um, good. Um, um, I guess. Um, good. Um, is the actual meat inside. Yeah, on um, good. A. It's on um, good. Okay. The pecan and onku a is like the nut, the meat inside the nut shell. The on the angu is onku. Onku is the meat in there. Uh -huh. Okay. No, no, when you say when you say a, it means the meat onku a. But it's just all good, like Dolores said, for the pecan. Okay. So that Zemkate, is that just that stands for the net? Is that what you said, or did I miss? Yeah, that's what I wrote down. Zame uh, day was uh, just. Hey, thank you. Sex. Does that sound familiar to anybody? That's what I wrote down. What What are you referring to? So, is it a nut? Yes, a nut. Same cock thing. It's just like, I don't know. I just wrote down nuts. And then on. It? it was one of our classes that we had about 10 years ago. And uh, we were like going through foods. No, the all good is the word for pecan. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I don't know. I don't, you might want to check that one out, Courtney, and make sure. Oh, are you? Did you? Were you wanting the word just for pecan? Is no, that, we're wanting the word for nuts. Oh, just nuts. Uh huh. 
I mean, it what, what, nut or nuts with the S on the end. Are we talking about like nuts in the in one of those bags that they get? Yes. Transactions? Oh. oh, so that's all different kinds. It could be macadamia. It could be walnut. It could be. But that's what I have written down by that word. And it doesn't specify what type of nut. It's just a general statement. Mm -hmm. the same. Then I had a question mark by walnut. Anyway. Um, okay, so uh, so the, any others that we think, did you want to put present in there? Oh, that's for the, or would it just be toys? Would present and would present be the same as toy? Hmm. Not necessarily. Ms. Harrigara, would would present be the same as toys or gift or would it be yeah, yeah. gift? Well is there a gift a toy would be a gift, so mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't know how to say gift. Okay. Do you want me to take that off, Courtney? Huh. Okay. Well, someone else may know. I, I, I'm i just, I mean, there are other elders you could ask. I we could look it up in the <laughs> drive. Do you have a you word for gift, Mary? Hey, they think of they hang off the Lord's hang off, but, but that would they, be toy, right? Like Christmas time, hang off. No, it's just I think it just covers that will cover anything, hang off. Okay, um, so okay, we say don't, there's a word for y'all. Hank, that's toys. That's toys. Hank, oh. a Christmas is called. I got a toy. So maybe put it like that toy slash gift. Uh, we're going to have like a giveaway. What's the word for giveaway? Yeah. <laughs> well, so I was trying to figure it. Yeah. Maybe it's in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. If there is a separate word in the dictionary. Okay. All right. So those, does everybody like those? Do you have any more you want to add? Uh, I'll put them in the chat for you. Okay. Um, I was reading, when I was looking this up, I was reading uh, this document that's in the drive. It's a, um, it's a, a lot of many documents. It kind of looks like they're all merged together. Let me see. It's, I uh, can't remember how much it, let's see. It's the Kiowa and Christmas missionary reports. Mm -hmm. Um. And it has the reports from 
1898 to 1914, it kind of scatters through the years, 1909, um, 1906. Anyways, it talks about their, um, talks about the Christmases then, you okay? And uh, from the different churches. It's pretty interesting. It's on the, it, I, I liked, I just kind of read through each one and it goes right in line with um, the report or not these reports, they go, it's a lot of what we hear from like when I would ask my aunts and my dad and then hearing from our elder mentors and the recordings Mm -hmm. And then even too, like even today, you, I was just um, talking about the pledges and everything and the types, like the, them going to gather a, a cedar tree, how far they went to go get the cedar tree, mm -hmm. bringing it back, how they, um, one of them talk about the decorating it and it was like, and Kiowa just didn't do any kind of way <laughs> um, and talks about what it would have on it. And I remember my aunt, she told, she would, whenever I was talking to her about this, she was um, reflecting on it and then how they would celebrate for um, multiple days and being at camp and camp and having their evening prayer service. It's really interesting um, when you read it through whenever uh, you've heard about it and everything and even kind of, you know, parts of it experienced it and all the pledge services and I'm going, um, but it's, I, I enjoyed reading it, but it talked about like the diff, the gifts, like children's gifts and adult gifts and uh how many they would have on the tree, like 300 or 400 um, decorated on it. So if y'all look at that, um, if you haven't ever um, seen that document, it's called Kiowa's and Christmas Missionary Reports. And is it in English or? Yeah, it's in English. Okay. It's, uh, it looks like it's like a bunch of combined PDF files um but it breaks up the the churches um also which i uh like so it has like christmas at rainy mountain and um so where is that found it's on the drive okay uh, christmas at elk creek generosity at saddle mountain and then uh yeah it's pretty it's really quick to read too because I just kind of went through I was looking at it because I was trying to look for what other words to carry them in but all of them reference you know what we've what we're familiar with is uh the treat bags and then the cedar tree and then it being decorated with uh nice little gifts for both children and adults um excuse me it, um the word hang cost just for toys but you were looking for just a generic word for presence uh -huh. and I don't think that they really like one word because they just call it you know everything hang goes Christmas time because they gave gifts mm -hmm. so that was like mostly for you know hang goes toys because that's what the I suppose the children looked forward to
Thank you, sir. Hello. Oh, my heart. Uh -huh. So, well, that was good. Um, so if you want to check, you know, the and just put those spellings in there. I will. Um, and then uh, so like I have 20, 30, 40, then here's 50, five minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So that's 55 minutes right there. If we add the vocabulary in there. So, cause it'll take about maybe 10 minutes to do the scavenger hunt. Right. And then huh. five, you know, short time for the vocabulary and maybe the songs will go faster, you know, what, not a full 20 minutes. Um, I guess they're not going to last five minutes each. So maybe 15 minutes, but we're still at 50 minutes. By the time we finish um, the scavenger hunt and the vocabulary, um, so if we, so then we'd have to look at this part right here and the stories. And having the Christmas stories and memories start with our college language mentors. And uh, and then have you know elders start to tell their stories that are in our program. Then the audience. And then we go into the last thirty minutes with the audience telling their stories. So that's fine. I think that's about right. Does it sound about right to you guys? Huh. Yeah. All right. I um I had an idea, but I don't know how it would uh I guess how it would I on the memories, I thought it would I thought it um I thought about it with the memories, if there was a way to kind of engage some of the participants, maybe even before as we're starting to like market it or promote the outreach, is asking if people have pictures of Christmases from their churches or Kiowa Christmases that they have in their family or from their from long ago or in how wherever if they would want to share them like just to try to um like maybe even for I don't know I was just thinking of how neat it would be to see some of the pictures and then it would be probably pretty easy just to like drop them into like a little slideshow or something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, partly if we would have time, but even just a way for people to share some of their pictures. Mm -hmm. So, so from our, our Wednesday group or anybody. Yeah. Like when we go and we like, when you share your, when we share the, the flyer for it, to get the word out, tell them if you have Kiowa Christmas memories, then, you know, even if they just like posted it on the comment or whatever. Okay. Or if they wanted to send it like to an email, then if there's, if there, if we wanted to include that, but I think that would be neat to see if, if they did share it on, on like the, wherever the flyer was posted, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because doing it during wouldn't be, we wouldn't really be able to do much with it in that moment. It would take a minute. Yeah. <laughs> At least a day. Yeah. But. Yeah. 
and even like if we I would be able to like if we dropped it in a a folder or whatever mm -hmm. after they share it like just to make it a little something to to view okay um Um, a video or a slideshow? Yeah. So if I guess if it's like a day or two before the outreach, then it would be able to be combined. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so um this is old. That's from That's the, what that's I was from wondering the about. It. Oh, are we having all those same day stories? <laughs> no. That's from 2022. <laughs> so, anyway. Um Okay. Um, I was changing that and then I realized, oh, that's old. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so we need to get um, the things to do need to be uh, uh, get a flyer out on FB and um, in Kiowa Tribe website. Okay. And then we'll send it out in an email. I know Melody will send it out in an email, but we need to get one out so we can let people know. So it's up on the website and, and put out on all the districts and, and uh, the language ones. Okay. All right. Well, we should get a flyer out by when? By November 20 or November 29th. That's a that's two weeks ahead of time. Huh. Okay. And that's a Wednesday. Okay. All right. So does do you know if Melody has this, all this right here? Is it just they're just gonna be talking about it? Cricket D what was the date again for the outreach? Um, December up here, December 13th. Okay. So the main thing is, you know, people get on at seven and just introduce people as they get on. Um, and, oh, did we have that? Who was going to be doing that? There it is. Okay. So opening prayer, Marianne, is that okay? If you open the prayer. On day. Um, when we do this oh. on the 13th. Okay. 13th of which month? Of December. Which month? December. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we're oh. having... And So, mm -hmm. so what it's going to be is everybody, um, it, it's an open, it's not just for the teacher right now it's teacher candidates, but, um, it's going to be, you know, like 
a lot of people, maybe like we've had people from D.C. and New Mexico and Washington State and uh, somebody in Germany and, uh, uh, you know, just all over, all over that joined in on these uh, Zooms, these outreaches that we have to the community. And so, um, so we just have like an opening prayer and then um, Dane will, you know, welcome people and greet people and, um, and then uh, we'll start out at, then that's going to be, how long? So that's going to be, I don't know when we're going to do that part. So as people come on, um, we won't start yet. We'll just, you know, say hello and just greet people as they come on. But at 730 is when we'll have the prayer. So I'm going to write that down here. Okay. But we'll go, you know, you we'll, we'll. Well, that's uh, uh, 7.30 on December. Okay. Or anybody, any one of us. Anybody that wants to jump in in there. <laughs> you said oh, December the 13th. Okay, yes. December 13th. And we'll get on at 7 o'clock, but then we'll have your prayer at 7.30. And how many seconds? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's how... Um, <laughs> Uh, Tim Tall Chief, he has when he runs a powwow, he has it down by thirty seconds, <laughs> a minute and a half. <laughs> he has the powwow down by seconds. Um, okay. So then, so anyway, it looks. It, I think it looks good to me. It's just pulling it together. Anything else that you guys can think of? So at the end of this, oops. So that's at 8.39, okay. I get dots, I. Oh, who was going to say the closing prayer? Did we say? Does anybody remember if we said any said he was going to do the closing prayer? I do not remember. Oh, no. hmm. oh, I think, was it Miss Pula? Was it you? Oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay. I don't think they put anybody in. Okay, because we have these other, we have uh, Raymond, Dorothy, Velma, Grandma D, and then we have Marion. So would you uh, do the closing prayer then so we can have you in here? I do the um, memory thing. You want to do the memory one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No story on that. Okay. Uh, do you have an area? I mean, um, top subject? Well, like right here, we have like Saddle Mountain, Redstone, Stecker, Rainy Mountain. Put me down for Cedar Creek. Okay. Down. Okay. What? I passed that one. Maybe At we what? could do... Um, 
Uh, what about uh, redstone? Oh, well. Oh. We'll figure it out. Maybe somebody will join that wants to do it. Okay. I think it's ready. I've ever which, just... which one are you? Did you want to look at that? We just don't have somebody specific for the closing prayer. All right. Anybody want to volunteer? I can do that one, I guess. Okay, I have you for the opening. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're up here at the. What about Dorothy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who's the other one? Up here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll just put her in there and put a question mark by it. She's at the redstone area too. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So uh -huh. um, okay, I think that's it. It's 8 30. What else? That was the main thing I was just getting nervous about, making sure that we had everything lined up and the stories ready and the songs ready and all that. So. And the only one I was thinking about is, but I'd need Melody on here, was, is she going to Oh, he's gonna Ramon's gonna record Raymond. Okay. I guess that was it. Okay. So Courtney, are you going to um do like uh kind of like how that was how Melody showed us on the Facebook thing? Like will you have like uh images up or I guess you don't want to do images. So have to say the word and then you can put an image up. I don't know. What was your yeah, idea? I was thinking about that, putting the word up there. And then once they. Um, bring it back, probably put the image up there on the page, but. And then, oh, I don't know, my mind, I had it in my mind, like, to do a, um, to do a tree and, like, arrange all the different images on a tree, like, decorations, so that they have a clue, but they don't know what it matches with. Oh, that sounds really cute. So, That's and then, good. that yeah. way kind of give them I know. something <laughs> give them well, a hint but not but tell the them clue when, in learning language the visual clue helps learn the language so oh I like that so the visual along with the auditory helps retain and learn the language mm -hmm. Okay. Um okay, so let me ask Dane he's uh if
Um, um, okay. Okay, for the outreach. Okay. Uh, I just, uh, I really want them, has anybody heard anything or talked with the language, anybody at the language program? I wish Ramon was on. Did he jump off to a different area? Let's see. I'm back now. I'm sorry. Okay, goody. Um, have you heard anything about them when they are going to be hiring or have they just not said anything at all? Um, they haven't told me anything, um, and I haven't really heard anything. All I know is that people have been applying from what I've heard from uh, others. But as far as whether or not they're speeding up or anything like that, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just am nervous about that. We got the grant now um, and, you know, getting it, you know, the big one. We're already doing the NVR one, but. Um, the big one and uh, and getting it implemented and making sure we get MOUs and, you know, all, all that stuff. Um, we need a, we need a director. Oh. Rick, they said, they said um, they're just taking their time and they were supposed to re-advertise, but they didn't do that, and they still may be talking about re-advertising. Um, we need to get this grant going. The, the acting executive director, of course, was out this week, so they really couldn't answer many questions. Hmm. Oh, huh. Are you still eating your chili? Oh. Huh. So maybe we need We're to start calling for the cook off. Maybe we should start oh, calling, yeah, you know, and asking um, uh, about, you know, them hiring. Maybe if we all start calling and say, hey, um, you know, we need, we have the language department, we do a lot of stuff with it. Um, uh, we need a director to make sure that everything is, you know, being uh, put together correctly. And um, and so we can start implementing the larger grant. And so I don't mind. I'll start calling. Calling. Um, I don't know who. <laughs> calling. Um, I was going to ask who we calling. <laughs> HR, uh, Over uh, a tribe or, or what? Lindy, or yeah, maybe we should call HR. Maybe we should call Lindy. Maybe we should call. Um, I think that language department is is under Tony now, so maybe we call Tony. Maybe we can call our um legislators. We could call our uh, you know, or email. You know, we can email our um, chairman and vice chairman. So if we all start doing that, and it's not just one or two people, but we all start doing that to all of those guys, they'll, maybe they'll um, get get more on the ball. What about making a form letter so we can all send the same form letter and, you know, uh, from each of our emails? Mm-mm. I think it's nicer if it's a little bit more personal. But those are the people I was thinking, like, I'll put in the chat the people maybe that we could message. Hold on. Eh, where's my... Um, and, I, you know, if you can find their email, like, um, so Tony... Um, and she is, uh, she's over 
education agency. We have a education azane agency agency now, I think. Um then, then we have um executive, is that what we call them? Executive director. Lindy probably won't be reachable for the remainder of the year, just to let y'all know. Okay. Well, we still need to probably pot leave messages. <laughs> okay. Executive Director Lindy Waters. I don't know. Anybody at HR? Who's the who's the they head just, of HR? They just hired someone. At HR? Uh-huh. Deborah, uh, Deborah, Debbie, uh, Emma Hula. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. And then um, uh, area, whichever area you're in. Um, and then, uh, okay, oh, yeah, chair and vice chair. What exactly are you asking for? When we will hire the uh, Iowa Language Department Director? Because they not all of them may know that we have this. We have an OIE grant. We have an NVR grant uh, to ensure proper. Iowa language. To Okay. Okay. No one knows these programs better than the experts that often look at America's most trusted equity firm. Okay. Anyway, that's just my thought. All right. Is that just, I don't know. Somebody needs to mute their computer. <laughs> okay. All right. That's all I have. And then just putting it together. Melody, are you there? Okay. Um, all right, that's all I have. What did y'all do in the uh, in the breakout rooms? Kinship. Yeah, kinship. Oh, kinship. Okay. Was it what was it? English to Kiowa. Oh. Is that how oh. English to Kiowa. Okay. So when did you want to get these letters out? Like tomorrow? I don't uh, want to do. I'm not to say it. I'm that. 
I'm saying that I think it would be good if not just one or two people, but those of us that get on these and uh, and are working with the language and working with the NVR grant to let people um, know that could help hurry up the hire of a language department director. So that's up to you. It's a suggestion. And who do we, who do we contact or who do we talk to or write to? Okay. Can you look at your chat? Um, I said, uh, the, the people I'm thinking that might be able to help speed up the process because uh, I have Dr. Tony Satok. She's over the um, edu Kiowa Education Agency, KEA. Um, Lindy Waters is the executive director. Um, your, area, your area legislator. Um, and then our chairman and vice chairman, which is Lawrence Spotterboard and Jacob Sotai. So I think those are the main people that might be able to help us. Oh, and then you said we have a new HR director, which is Deborah Emahula. So where do we find our email addresses? I guess on the Kiowa website. I just think that those people might be be helpful in uh, helping us get somebody in there faster if they know that we're kind of, you know, struggling along needing a director. Okay. So does everybody like it for the outreach? Oh. Hey, Cricket. Uh huh. Are they um when you request something like this, don't you have to like go through their thing before you can get things allocated? You know, like a process or something. I mean, they can't just appoint somebody, right? They have to have a, a special meeting or something. I don't understand. So like, how are we asking, you know, because we're just out, out asking if they can put somebody in place, but yeah, can you, can they can they look and see where we are in the process? Oh, okay. So we're already in a process. Miss uh, Miss Judy, will you um tell her a little bit about your application or what they said at HR? Maybe that will help her. Yeah, um, I went in and talked to them, and they said that uh, first of all, they were thought they were going to have to re-advertise because um, if you get on and look, they still have the same announcement out, and that was ending in September. Um, and then they said they wanted more applicants. And I, it's my understanding that if they have, you know, at least three, they can go ahead and start with their interviewing and such. And I asked the, the person that I was talking to if it was okay, you know, for me to ask that question, how many have applied? And she said, right now they were pretty sure they had three. And it was just kind of on hold. The acting executive director was out this week, and a lot of people were out on travel. And that's all she could say was it's just, you know, they still really haven't started anything. But okay, so we're in the process. As, as far as I understand, it's still, you know, open, but um, it's just uh, waiting. Just mm -hmm. kind of have to wait. 
till someone decides, someone makes a decision to move on it. So now you know as much as I do. <laughs> Oh, wow. So, uh, so basically it's just like doing what she did, finding out, uh, just like, okay, we're just wondering where we are. Can we get it? You know, when, do you know, when we can start being seen, when are they going to start interviewing? Okay. All right. Everybody's getting off cause it's almost nine o'clock. Is there anything else that we need? I was kind of waiting to see if Melody could get back on. That's okay. All right. So, um, Miss Marion, would you close us out with a prayer? Hey, duh. Oh, the dog key. Thank God. Oh, the angel. Hey, go ahead. 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 Go Go ahead. Go Go ahead. Go ahead. Go Go ahead. Go ahead. Go I get so they hunt to get on the top. They they hunt to get I on the dog. I'm below on eight dots at dog. They hunt to get I get on the dog. They on the key. They go sound. I get straight more hanging. Go get. They go no. They go. I go <clears throat> go Hyundai. They would be very proud of these children today. Go they only get I come they dog talk eat they only get I come the dog Ah holy and hope talk eat it they tie dog on they call them talk. Ahori and Ahode. Thank you, God, for your watching over these children and assisting them as they make their plans as adults. They're learning, and we're grateful for everything that they do. And we praise your holy name. Ahode, donkey. Uh -huh. We just uh -huh. place it all in God's uh -huh. hands tonight. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, um, let me copy this real fast. Okay. All right. Melody, did you get back on? Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we'll leave then. <laughs> it's about nice. five till nine. <laughs> all right. Okay. It looks like fun, Courtney. If you need me to look up anything, let me know. Oh, I will. I hope. Okay. All right. Bye.